Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about number series, pero part 2 na siya. And kung gusto nyo makita yung part 1 nito, you can see sa ating description box yung link nito. And pwede nyo makita dito sa ating upper right corner. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Meron tayong 3 different examples in which yung ating numbers dito sa first one ay whole numbers. While for example B and C are all fractions. So don't worry, madali lang yan guys. Explain sa inyo mamaya. Now, ang una kong ginagawa dito sa number series, again, ulitin ko lang pintip ko sa inyo, is I will subtract the first two numbers hanggat makakuha ko ng pattern. Pero, hindi ibig sabihin nun na yung unang pattern na iniisip mo, siya agad yung gagamitin mo pattern to came up with the missing numbers. So, start tayo. Una kong gagawin dito, I will subtract 6 and 4. We have 6 minus 4, and that is equal to 2. So, para makakuha tayo ng pattern, Yung second pair natin, which is 9 minus 6, and that is equal to 3. As you can see, hindi constant. Okay, hindi pare-parehas yung number na nakukuha natin as difference. So, ibisipin agad natin, ay, yung pattern natin, hindi tayo mag add ng numbers. Pero try pa rin natin for the next pair, or third pair. 13 minus 9. So, meron tayong 13 minus 9, which is equal to 4. As you can see, may nakikita na akong pattern na meron tayong 2, 3, 4. Medyo tumataas siya. I-confirm natin using the fourth pair, which is 18 minus 13. And that is 5. So ngayon, na-confirm ko na na yung pattern natin ay habang nadadagdag tayo ng term, nagkakaroon tayo ng addition or mag-add tayo ng mas tumataas na number. So anong ibig ko sabihin? Look at this. Ibig sabihin nito guys, from 4 to 6, nag-add tayo ng 2. From 6 to 9, nag-add tayo ng 3. From 9 to 13, nag-add tayo ng 4. To came up with the next term, from 13 to 18, mag-add tayo ng 5. So, ang expect natin ngayon, to get the 5th term, yung nawawala kayo sa 6th term, yung nawawala rito, mag-add lang tayo ng 6 ka 18. So, that is plus 6, which is equal to 24. And to get the 7th term, mag-add tayo ng 7 kasi plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7. Which is 24 plus 7 which is equal to 31. I hope guys na nakuha niyo yung technique natin sa number 1 or sa first example natin on how to get the missing 2 terms. Now let's move on with item number 2 or letter B. Sir fraction, mahirap. Hindi. You observe nyo lang yung pattern. We have 3 over 4, 5 over 7, 7 over 10, 9 over 13. So diba parang walang pattern kapag buong fraction tinignan natin. Mag-try tayo mag-focus ngayon sa numerators. Kung mapansin nyo, 3, 5, 7, 9. Kung mag-focus din tayo sa denominator natin, mapansin nyo, 4, 7, 10, and 13. Dito, sa ating numerator, from 3 to 5, plus 2. From 5 to 7, plus 2. From 7 to 9, plus 2. So, kung mapansin nyo yung pattern natin, sa numerators, mag-add lang tayo ng 2. So, para makuha natin itong missing number, from 9 to this term, mag-add lang tayo ng 2. That's why, ang numerator natin dito is 11. E sir, what about the denominators? 4, 7, 10, 13. So, kung mapansin nyo yung pattern natin dito, plus 3 lang siya. Dito, plus 3, plus 3. Ibig sabihin nyo guys, to game up with the next one, mag-add lang tayo ng 3. So, 13 plus 3, which is 16. Ibig sabihin, yung missing fraction natin, or yung next fraction natin, is simply 11 over 16. Okay? I hope na nakuha nyo yan. Now, let's proceed with number, with letter C, or the third example. We have 11 over 4, 9, oh, sorry, 8 over 9, 5 over 16. So, parang hirap pa rin po. 
Ito na, focus tayo sa numerator. Pero hindi laging ganito ha. Ito lang yung pattern natin for this example. Focus tayo rito. Now focus tayo sa numerator. From 11 to 8, kung mapansin yung pababa yung numbers, di ba? Ibig sabihin, from 11 to 8, minus 8, that is 3. From 8 to 5, that is equal to 3 rin. Ibig sabihin, magma-minus lang tayo ng 3 dito. Dito, minus 3, dito ay minus 3. So, ibig sabihin, yung 5 natin, to came up with the next numerator, mag-minus 3 lang tayo. And 5 minus 3, that is equal to 2. Okay? E, sir, paano po yung sa denominator? Sa so, denominator, focus tayo. Itong 4 natin is equal to 2 square. Kasi yung 4, 9, 16 are all perfect squares, guys. Yung 9 natin, that is 3 square. Yung 16 natin, that is 4 square. So, para maanap natin yung ating denominator, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, that is simply 5 square. Ang 5 square natin is equal to 25. Ibig sabihin guys, you know, wala natin fraction sa so number series natin sa letter C is simply 25. I hope guys na you learned something from this video on how to figure out the missing terms or the next term in a number series. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!